Deep Side and Seek is notorious for its gadgets. And today, I'm going to be ranking them because I'm just Sigma like that. Okay, the first gadget is the bat. Now the bat can be used for many things, like hitting people off sky bases, destroying sky bases, literally absolutely wrecking sky bases until they report you, and being annoying at that. Also, at that rate, there's not really much you could do with the bat, so I'm going to put it in A tier, because it's very useful for getting stuffing from pillows. I like the pellet gun a lot. At first, I might put it at like a B or C tier. But then, when I found out that the pellet gun could be used for a lot more, I would put it in A tier, right next to the bat, because it is just as useful as the bat. It can destroy stuff from a distance, it can shoot stuff from a distance, and you can be really annoying with it. Now, the umbrella. The umbrella is by far the greatest gadget in use. You can soar like Mary Poppins, and it is so much fun. And that goes in S tier. I don't think anybody really uses this. We're gonna put it in C tier. Now the frisbee, it has absolutely no use except for you bouncing off of it. There is no point in having it. That's a D tier. The voice decoy, it takes people, it takes your proximity, and um, yeah. Like it takes your proximity and um, of the voice decoy. It's really useful for tricking the seekers, but I don't know if I've ever met anybody that uses this as a, as a main, so I'll put it in B. And the teleporter orb is by far the most annoying gadget in the game. Literally, the little kids use this thing, and if you use it, then I don't know what to say, but like this. It's really good but it's seriously so annoying because like people think that they're so cool with it you throw it and it you go wherever it goes so that's a um i guess that's a b tier next is the snowball i don't think the snowball is too good or too bad it's only a hundred buck coins and it is really useful for hitting people off stuff and freezing them, especially the Seekers. So we're gonna put that in B tier next to the portal ball. Any paint. I don't know who's gonna use the paint for like anything but building, but like, oh my God, dude. We are putting this in C tier. Nobody uses this unless to blend in. And I already know when all the pillows are there or not. So like, try hiding the the button is notorious for making really cool stuff with the bombs, so it's like pretty special, I guess, and it is pretty useful. I'm going to put it in B. Now, the bomb goes in this bomb. It's really cool. I think it's like it's really fun to use, especially when there's a base right there and you can chuck a bomb at it, it'll destroy it. Really fun. That's an A tier. Smoke bomb is also an A tier. It's really cool if you want to get away from the hiders or seekers. Um, and I like to use the ender pearl when I smoke bomb. I smoke bomb down, I throw the ender pearl and then I just evaporate. Now this bomb, this one's not as useful as the bomb one. But I think it launches you further, so we're probably gonna put that also on A. Now the snow bomb, the snow bomb is really, really cool. It's a lot better than its snowball counterpart, so I'm assuming we should put it in A as well because it is a, not a direct contact. So the drone, the drone is really cool, especially when you want to make videos. It's like the it's like that one camera that just follows you and it's super nice to have. I think it deserves an A tier. Now this camera, I don't use it too much because you can see the end of the stick and it's kind of embarrassing because they know when you're using that. I'm putting it in B tier. 
Now this camera is the one I use almost the most because it just stands still, it doesn't do anything. So we're gonna put that in S tier. Now if you wanna knock somebody really, really far or you just wanna block somebody's hits, get the um, Yeti claws or the boxing gloves. And it is really useful for doing just that. It's kind of like the bat, but better. So we're gonna put that in A tier. Hot Cocoa. The single-handedly best gadget like that seems useless, but it actually is useless. It's very useful. You can do really cool stuff with it, like unfreeze yourself if you can clutch it up really fast, or you can go over and then um go over and then do the jump with it, which I like to show off a lot in my videos, which is kind of funny. Now the firework. These things are way too expensive. Five hundred for one. And that is literally only 10 fireworks. That's why it's only useful for the seekers when the hider is using them. Because the hider would like to camp in the eye, the sky. So like, we would put the firework in C. And B. Well, this is my tier list if you have any problems with it. Since we are missing like one, I'm going to say it. The neck camera is going to go in b tier because i don't use it 